Yep, it's me again. <laughs> you guys, why do I have this habit of getting on YouTube and then just disappearing for a few months and then coming back like, hey. Oh my God, you guys, I have so many updates for you guys. But this, oh, by the way, I'm getting surgery tomorrow. I'm talking kind of low because I'm not home by myself right now. And I don't want them to be like, yo, she's loud. She's loud. I'm having surgery tomorrow. If you want to know what kind of surgery I'm getting, keep watching because I'm going to show it on camera. Not the surgery, dear God. It's been a while. Missed you. Yeah, I missed you. I, I missed you. <laughs> Woke up super early, 5 a.m., get to the surgery center at 6 a.m., do some paperwork, get my surgery by 7 a.m., be done by 8 a.m., be home by hopefully 9 30, 10 a.m. It's gonna be one long day and I'm not ready for the pain, but it's worth it. So let's go. You guys, look at the dogs. Eminem, Nugget, Nug. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hello. Ese pelo. Pero mira, wow. Pero wow. How you feeling? Cold. <laughs> but your boobs look great. Thank you. Well, um, I did it. I, I did it. Um, it's, it's been a couple of weeks. It's so funny because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get back on YouTube. And then I recorded before my surgery and it's been this Monday. It'll be a month since I made that video. So um, it's me, I'm, I'm back now, hi. <laughs> but what I'm gonna start doing, you guys, <laughs> if you don't believe me, that's fine because I barely believe myself. I'm gonna start making a lot of vlogs because notice one thing about me is that I can't do my hair, obviously. Is that I do better when it comes to vlogs because I can really take you guys around my day and around my house and what I do. And I'm like, what's crazy is that you guys don't know anything about like what I do off a of camera, like where I go, who I'm with. Obviously, I'm still gonna keep my life private. I'm not gonna show anybody. But um, I wanna start taking you guys around to all the adventures I go on to when I travel, how I work, how I get up early to, um, for filming, to shoot, how many times I get my hair and my makeup done in a week. Like I just always have something going on. If only I vlogged this past couple of like weeks, I've gone to like 17 different trips, been with family a lot, it was my sister's birthday yesterday, like I'm always doing something. And mind you, I'm talking a lot, my bad. Tomorrow I have a wedding to go to and I'm like, <sighs> Can I take a break? <laughs> and then another wedding, and then a vacation. That it's just, it's, it's a lot. So if you guys wanna see some vlogs and just kind of be with me on my day-to-day -day life, put a thumbs up on this video right now and be like, yes, we wanna see that shit, or mm, you know what, we actually don't care type shit, whatever, whatever floats your boat, that's fine. I got a little bit ready and I put eyeliner on the bottom and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think it's my look, I don't think it's my thing, but um, hey, fuck it. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna film today, I'm gonna make some videos, but then again, I looked in the mirror and I was like, maybe we should go to the gym, Celise. And I was like, yeah, maybe. Currently, I am wearing this right now. I have my robe on, I have my shorts, I have my bra. And uh, yeah, also later in this vlog, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my surgery because I know a lot of you guys have so many questions like, why did you do it? Were they messed up? Well, what's going on? Did you put more CCs or less? I got so many answers for you guys. Meet the new member of the family. Her name is Espresso, cause she's so tiny. Day in this angle, dear. 
me when I take a selfie. Um, so one thing I do around my house is that I literally always light candles and I have, um, well, I can't, I'm gonna show you guys. So I always light two candles in my kitchen that smell like vanilla, cupcake, or what is this, pancakes? I don't even know. But I always have these. I don't know what these are called, but it's just pretty much like you plug it in and then here you put like little cubes and it gets really hot and this makes your whole house smell super good. So I always have two candles in my kitchen. I have one of this here. I have another one right here. And then I have um, one more in that living room and I have another one in the master bedroom. My house always smells like some freaking thick vanilla or cupcake scent or like brown sugar. Like it always smells super sweet. So much so that whenever like I have company come over, like my friends or whatever, or my family or whatever, they're like, oh my God, I can smell that from outside your, your house, like in the hallway. Cause um, it's just like, I have a huge hallway before you get to my house and it's just, it's really complicated and confusing. But um, they're like, I smelled that literally when I got out of the elevator, like I could smell it. And the minute you walk in, it's like, whew, like it is just strong. So if you don't like the smell of vanilla or whatever, my house would not be the place for you because well, it just smells like Bath and Body Works up in this bitch. Also look at the flowers that I got a few days ago, you guys. Okay, my feet are ugly as shit. Can you guys see it in there? Guys, these are so beautiful. Like it looks so much better in person, but there's a hundred pink roses and oh my God. Guys, also I got that new chair. Yo, I, I kind of want to do a house tour sometimes, but other times I'm like, no, I kind of want to keep that private. But everybody always asks for one. I just, I'm really thinking about what I should do because I've I've been here since like last year, freaking September, October, and I've never done the house tour. I'm thinking about it. What do you guys think? Should I do it? Thumbs up? Mm, no? Oh, okay. Also, don't mind me. I have a lot of weird decorations in my house. It's just like a, you know, mood. This is me 24 seven. But I also got this and then I got these flowers. Oh my God. So thank you for those flowers to, you know who you are, boo. This is my baby. Look at the other one. This is Eminem. She is a Tika Poodle. Hi, mama. I got her a few months ago. I think like two months ago, but this is her. She's really sleepy because her and her little sister were playing right now. This is her. You guys, she is so tired. It's too early for her. And she was just playing with her sister. So I'm gonna put her back down. Can I take my hand piece? Thank you. And I just got this one. Her name is Espresso. She lays on Bay's jacket all the time because, okay, my house is really clean, but this is kind of on the floor because she like is in love with her. But I just got her um, like, I think a week. Yeah, today's Thursday, I think. So I got her a week ago today and she is also a teacup, but she's a teacup chihuahua. And this one right here is a teacup poodle. It's 9 a.m. and I still haven't gone to the gym. Look like shit. Look, I cannot stand up straight without you guys seeing my face. I'm right here. I haven't gone to the gym yet because I started working, I started filming, I started editing. So I'm like, obviously that comes first before the gym because you guys just come first, obviously. Okay, so right now I'm making my two babies some food. They are on a chicken and rice diet. Everything is boiled. Now you may ask why normally they eat regular food like kibbles and just, you know, like that good stuff, treats and all that. But one of my dogs got um, a little stomach bug or I don't know what she got. She's okay though, she got tested for everything. Everything came out negative, but she has a stomach bug, which is contagious. So the vet told us to put the puppies on a chicken and rice, a boiled chicken and rice diet for the next couple of days. So for the next seven days, I'm gonna be like a full-time mom doing this. I don't even know what the I'm doing. I think they are ready for their foodies. They're waiting, hold on. Let me take it out of the microwave and give it to them. For you, espresso, espresso, over here. This is right there. I feel like I cannot breathe with this bra, you know why? One thing I hate about getting surgery is um, this Monday it's gonna be exactly like a month or a little bit, I think a month since I got surgery, but after you get it and you wanna work out, you have to wear two bras. So I have the gray one and then I have the black one. And I'm like, like it hurts. On top of that, I have to wear a band around my neck that wraps up super tight. And I'm just like, yo, it feels like if someone is sitting on my chest, I don't like it. But if you want to work out, that's the price you got to pay. Also, I still haven't worked out. It's 11, 11 a.m. I've been so caught up at home. Y'all see why I'm like this. I'm always doing so many things and I get distracted and my dog's done peeing outside. It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's, I'm always doing a thousand and one things, but um, it's fine. We're fine. While I make my pre-workout, what I'm gonna have right now is I'm gonna have this drink that I get. 
It's like an all veggie one. It has lemon, green apple, kale, cucumber, parsley, celery, spinach, and romaine. So it looks like this, then you just do a little bit of that, and then it looks like that. Now, it looks disgusting. If you're anything like me, you literally hate vegetables. I hate them. I need to grow up, because I'm gonna be 27, and I'm like, Ew, is that a vegetable on the plate? Sorry, can I have it? But this one right here, although it has so many greens in it, I, th I think it's the apple and the lemon that makes it really good and citrusy. Y'all don't care about this, huh? So this right here is like what I grab whenever I feel like I wanna, you know, get like my fourth bag of chips in a day, you know what I'm saying? This juice is what I drink 24-7. I was gonna do the whole update on my uh, breast augmentation after the gym, but I think I'm just gonna do it now while I make my pre-workout for the gym. That way I get two things done at once. So a lot of you guys may be asking, <laughs> Celise, so why did you get another breast augmentation? Celise, so you literally just got one not even a year ago. Literally, my first surgery ever, like the breast augmentation, was July 14th, 2020. We're barely in April of 2021. So I've got two surgeries in a matter of less than a year. That wasn't my plan, that wasn't my idea. Did I wanna get another surgery? No. No, 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 for so many reasons. We were during the pandemic. I was like, okay, I have time to get my breasts done because I've always wanted to do it, so I did it. And after that, my healing process was literally so insane. I will show you guys a picture of what happened right here, like two months in. Like, I thought it was all healed up. I was good. And then two months later, my incision on the left one, because I got them placed on the bottom of my uh, breast right here, not like through here. The left one, like, not opened, but it it opened like the implants good everything was was good and then like there was like a little hole and then it was like blood was coming out like a little bit of blood sorry if you don't like nasty stuff because i hate shit like that just just go to like the next minute um then after that like a week later it was like infected and it was like white but i went to my uh doctor dr tanasia the best and he was like it's nothing to worry about because what i did and my first surgery is I didn't take my healing process seriously. I was like, well, I feel good week one. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna work out. I'm not gonna wear the band. I'm barely gonna wear my bra. I'm not gonna wear two bras at that. I was just like, I thought I was Miss Unstoppable. Like, it's gonna be different for me, but it was not different. And I just, um, doing so many different things that I was not supposed to be doing, um, right after the surgery caused my implants to just shift. I'm gonna put in pictures right now to how it looked like before versus after. So here's the before. As you guys can tell, it was like super long. It was like just like a yam. <laughs> Y'all know what yams are like, I'm Miss Yammy. It was very long and then like just round on the bottom and I was like yo this looks like a yam was good and they were both like that but you couldn't really tell because in my videos and pictures I would like know how to angle it correctly like to make it look like everything look good and shit but really it didn't it got messed up because I was doing too much during my healing process because I don't know how to be patient I was like no I have to go to the gym I have to do this I have to do that like I'm busy you expect me to be in bed and lay around for like four to six weeks like I have a life and I was running around by week one lifting my arms which you're not supposed to do and I messed it up and in doing all that my implants ended up shifting and if you go online it says not to do that because if you move too quickly after your surgery your implants will shift and I was like they're not gonna shift you know they shifted and normally it takes a full year for the implants to drop, but they're supposed to actually drop between six weeks or six weeks to like two months or something. Mine started up up here and then they got a little bit lower, then they shifted into like a weird yam position. Like it was just not the implants that I wanted. Do I regret it? Hell no, Dr. Tanasia is the best. It was a learning experience for me because I did too much too quickly because I was super impatient. So I was the reason as to why everything just got messed up. And like, even whenever my incision opened here, I was like going out two days later, I was like, it's gonna be okay. Like, I don't know who I thought I was. It's so funny, I was like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you guys while I make my pre-workout. I haven't even done anything. But it was more so like a learning process for me and this July of 2021 would have been exactly a year since I got my boobs done for the first time and they never dropped. They got really hard at the bottom. My incision ended up getting infected. Um, 
the shape was so messed up because of me because I did not take care of my implants properly. And I was just so ignorant and I was just like, oh no, I'll be fine. You guys are just being dramatic. So PSA, it doesn't matter how good your surgeon doctor is, if you don't take care of your healing process like the slow way, they're gonna come out terrible. And that's how mine came out. So <laughs> this year, I, I'm gonna get to the whole C season in a minute. I wanna give you guys like a little backstory. This year, I literally have so many things coming up. I have like a wedding tomorrow. I have a wedding in a few weeks, a wedding in a few months, a wedding at the end of the year, a wedding next month. Like everybody's getting married because the whole COVID thing pushed everybody back. And I love to see it. I love the wedding. It's beautiful. And I'm like, I have so many weddings coming up. I I'm going to be leaving the country soon. I'm going to be leaving the state soon. I'm leaving the city. Like there's just so many different things happening this year. And I'm like, if I don't do, if I don't get my boobs done again right now, I'm not gonna have time. I, I'm not gonna have time. When you get them done, you have to literally just relax, not really move, have someone else help you with everything that you need. And this time I actually did that. So I was like, look, I could either do it right now or I could do it in August, but then my mom's birthday is in October, mine's in November, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas and New Year's. I'm not gonna have time to just relax at home. And I was like, what better time than now? And that's why I ended up getting my boobs redone. So I ended up getting my boobs done. Um, this Monday, it will be exactly a month, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm terrible with dates, terrible with birthdays. I'm terrible with a lot of stuff because my memory is like a fish. I Know. And I really took it easy this time for the first two and a half weeks. I left my arms down like this um, I had someone here helping me the whole time like from making my coffee to opening the fridge because my, my fridge is actually really heavy oddly um, To taking my like little trash out to helping me put on my my shirt and this and putting up my bun for me like I literally took it so easy like it was dramatic, but I feel so much better. And I don't know if you guys can tell already, they've already dropped nicely and it's only been not even a month. Not even a month. And it still has, I have a whole year left for them to actually keep forming and dropping, but now it looks like natural. Before it was like boom, oh, like two little bricks. I'm like, yo, I didn't, I didn't ask for muscles. I feel like I got two pecs over here, you know? Like, what's up, sir? And they never actually dropped, but that was my bad. So I went back to Dr. Tanasia on um, almost a month ago and then we decided, because in my mind I was like, I just don't want to get my implants removed and then have nothing again. Although having nothing is a beautiful thing because I spent my whole life having no breasts and I was as happy as can be, but you know, I'm ready for them. I'm like, okay, I could either one, take them out all the way and just be like completely just natural again, which and just have nothing, which I don't care. Or two, I can switch out the implants, put new implants in, and either lower my CCs or get my CCs higher. And CCs are like the amount of, of um, the implant size that you want. I don't really know how to explain that, but I'm doing my best here. Before the implants, although you couldn't tell because it was like misshapen as hell, um, the CCs were 500. But turns out it was like 480, 475. Like they were both a little bit different because one was bigger than the other one like before my surgery. So. Um, I was always like, oh, it's 500 cc. It, it wasn't, it was like 480 and then 470, it, I don't know. So when I went in a few weeks before surgery, we decided on doing uh, 600 to 620 cc's. And we also did saline and we still did it under the muscle. But the only thing he did differently this time, because now not only did I mess up my implants my first time getting the surgery, but my body is like, unable somehow to drop the implants on its own like every normal other woman god bless so he went in he took out the old implants the old the other implants put in new implants still did saline and we went from 480 cc to 620 cc's and um it's still saline under the muscle and this time in surgery he actually dropped the implant himself i don't know how he did it, uh, I'm not a doctor, I'll never understand, but he had to go in, fix all that stuff, change everything up. Also, I had a really, really bad scar right here from the incision that opened up, and um, he totally took that scar completely out, so now if I lift my arms up, you couldn't even tell that I had this opened up two different times. Like, it looks like just like this, like nothing at all, so he did amazing at that. And yeah, that's kind of my update.
guys, I'm going to be ending this video very shortly because in my mind, I was like, sorry, it's been a couple of minutes. I ended up taking off my other bra and my jacket because I'm like, look, before I go work out, look at me just putting shit up. <laughs> before I go work out, I'm gonna charge up my camera and I'm gonna actually edit this whole, this, this one is not a vlog. This one is like an update video. My next one for this weekend that I go to the wedding and I'm gonna be uh, you know, dressed up and um, I'm gonna make that one into a vlog and as well as every other week a vlog. But um, y'all know whenever I leave YouTube and I come back on, it's like a little update. Let me go to my desk, hold on. I cannot focus filming and grabbing my laptop and my and my pens and my notepad and my juice and my charger and my job. Give me a second, you see my life is just everywhere. So I'm finally sitting on my desk. So fun fact, I have an office over there on the side of my bedroom. Besides a whole office vibe, because I have my ring lights in there, I have all my camera stuff, my camera stands, I have my huge desk like with shelves, I have a bookshelf in there. I have like literally all my work stuff that I've ever needed in that office organized nicely, of course. The other day I was on Amazon, of course, I live on Amazon. I was like, I kind of want not a big desk, but a little desk for my bedroom so I can sit here and work while just like looking out the window. Cause I mean, I have a window in my office too, but like the way my office is set up, like I, I can see the view, but I can't at the same time. So I was like, I mean, I had a big vanity right here for like all my makeup, but then I made a glam room. I should really do a house tour because you guys are probably like, wait, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I ended up buying this, not tiny, but this reasonable size desk. It's like white and gold. Bought like little fake plans for it, but that's not gonna be here until like, probably like a week from now or hopefully a few days. So that's why I'm sitting here in my bedroom to edit on my desk because this is my first time using my desk right now while I'm talking to you guys. Let me show you guys, hold on. Here's a little bit of my desk. There's a balcony right there, which the whole view is. I will show you guys a view, but I have to keep that kind of private because, you know, um, I have little gold things on my desk. And this this chair was to my other vanity that I have. So the other one is still on its way and it like matches this and it's like gold and whatnot. But I'm gonna have my green juice, I'm gonna edit, and this is my dog bed with like 10,000 blankets because they're spoiled because why not, you know what I'm saying? So this is where I'm about to edit in case you guys were like wondering like, where is she gonna edit here? So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and look at my angle. You guys, I'm just convinced that my angle is gonna be messed up for the rest of my life and you know what, I'm fine with it. It's fine, I've made my peace with it. Like I said, this video was just like an update video. It was not a vlog vlog. I was gonna make it into a vlog but I was like, I'm home by myself today. Um, let's, let's just do like an update video because of vlogs, I have to be out and doing stuff and that's how my life typically is. But today on the day that I decided to get back on YouTube, I'm home. Hope you guys enjoyed this update video. This will be posted in the next couple of days. I am back on YouTube. I know I say that every other day. I said this before in the beginning of the video and I'll say it again. If you guys want a house tour, put a thumbs up on this video and I might just do it, but I will, I won't show certain things in the house to kind of like keep the privacy here. Like I'm gonna end up closing all my windows. So, but you guys can still actually see my house without seeing the actual like view. Just so like I said, keep privacy for myself. I love you guys so much. If you guys have not yet, put a thumbs up on this video. If you guys wanna see a house tour and some weekly vlogs, cause if you are ready, I'm ready. And if you have not yet, subscribe down below. And well, keep up with my life because my life is just everywhere. Love you guys, bye.